What's up guys? Oh, welcome back to my channel. If you're here for the same, first time, I have to say welcome. I'm so happy you guys are in today's video. We are going to be doing a massive extreme clean with me guys. So I first start, always start my day on my bedroom. I feel like if I do my bed first, kind of sets the tone and kind of sets the mood for like the whole entire house. So here I'm just pretty much um, setting everything in the bed to be able to um, continue. I like to just spill all the laundry and everything that needs to be organized on top of the bed. So like that I know what I have to do. So if I have paperwork around, laying around and whatnot, I put it on top of the bed. So just put some music and um, tackle this mountain of laundry. So I just divided all the clothing and whatnot and I put... Um, whatever needs to be hands on the side and then I uh, move on to everything else and guys subscribe to the channel you already know <laughs> so yeah guys I just move on do laundry and uh, just pretty much get rid of everything that needs to be put away Okay, so after the uh, bedroom, I go in and tackle my bathroom. So I just pretty much put everything away first. I put everything that needs to be put into the cabinets. I put it away. Um, I'm here just pretty much putting like everything that I used the night before or the day before. I'm just putting it away. And then I concentrate on cleaning um, the top part of the bathroom. And I like to spray everything down with Lysol, guys. Like, I feel like if I do not clean with Lysol, my house is not clean. Like, I have to have an antibacterial cleaning the germs because I have kids and, yo, things can get really nasty and messy. Then I move on to the toilet, but I didn't want to put that on camera, guys. You guys don't have to see me cleaning the toilet. So then after everything is done, I go ahead and mop my floors. I love using the Swiffer. I just feel like it's so much better than a mop. Gets the job done quicker and easier and it's freaking bomb. So after that, I move on to the living room. Um, I do like to kind of like take a shower after I wash the bathroom. I don't like to go out and clean the, the house when I already cleaned the bathroom. I don't know, that's just me. So here I'm just pretty much organizing the bedroom, I'm sorry, the living room. And as you see, my little baby boy is on the swing from side to side. He wishes it would be this fast. <laughs> so I'm just putting his toys away. Um, we spend most of the time in the living room, so most of his toys are here in the living room. So I'm just pretty much um, trying to organize. I know it's going to be a mess during the day because, of course, he's going to go out and play again. So just kind of make it a little bit more, you know, like clean. Then I move on to my laundry and what I like to do here is I start putting in the loads of, wa of laundry I have to do during the day and then what I'll do is I remove the one that's in the dryer and it's pretty much more laundry, more clothes to fold. to the kitchen now we did grocery the day before and we got home really really tired so we left all the groceries on the floor so what we're gonna be doing now is I'm just going to kind of show you how I put the grocery away 
and organize how I keep, try to keep my pantry organized. So I start taking out all the containers that are empty um, that of course need to be replenished with the food I just bought. And I start taking out everything and kind of just putting um, everything where it goes. I feel like when you remove things from their containers, they come in. It saves you much, so much space and like that you know what you have and what you don't have. And when you go grocery shopping, you know, hey, I, I ran out of this, I ran out of that. So that's what I'm going to be doing here, guys. You're going to see how I just take out everything from its original packaging and just kind of place it. And my husband is trying to flip it. And he did it. He was not going to stop until he did it. So yeah, I'm just going to be organizing a little bit of my pantry. Not so much in depth because I want you guys to see that in another video. But it just kind of gives you uh, an idea of how I organize my pantry. I go in here and wash all the baby stuff I normally don't I don't know actually not normally never I put his stuff in the um, dishwasher because the detergents that I use for the dishwasher are a little hard on the chemicals and I don't really like it so I just hand wash on um, everything from the baby so all his pacifiers all his bottles his little bowls for cereal his spoons so all that I wash and um, I put in the rack and I just let them dry and and again I spray Lysol all over the counters um, it makes me feel like everything is clean um, and of course no bacteria nothing so my counter looks pretty pretty cool I love when I see the counter like that but to be honest it lasts very little so please do not mind that hole right there that you see on the island um, guys I had plumbing issues in my apartment and for like two weeks they couldn't find what was wrong and they came and broke that and it's been two weeks and they still have not come fixed it it's just ridiculous so then I move on and I start grooming the whole apartment the kid is asleep and as you can see did you see the living room it's a mess again <laughs> so it happens I just had to learn to make my peace with it so after I broom I take the Swiffer and I have I take advantage that he's sleeping so I know he's gonna be crawling around and I just um, start sweeping the whole entire apartment and I love this thing and the one I use is the Febreze one so it leaves my apartment smelling so clean and I absolutely love it and of course hydrate I have to hydrate 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 I finish cleaning my kitchen, my living room, my bedroom, and everything. I move into my kids' bedroom. It's what takes me the longest because these boys can be so messy. 
Um, so it's really, really hard. Like I try to leave this room for last and I don't do it every single day. So I just, I'm here just pretty much taking out their old um, bed sheets and putting in new ones that I recently cleaned. So I'm just kind of putting their bed sheets here. One of them loves the Fortnite, the other one loves his Avengers. So, and right now we're in the process of like switching up their bedrooms. So I, that's why you see it like it's really empty. But again, they're boys, so. So here just pretty much setting everything for my boys, making up, making their beds. And as you can see, everything, I put everything in the middle because it might, makes me know that everything that's in that middle needs to be put away. Alright, so after I make their beds, um, what I like to do is I like to place everything that I found around the room um, in their bed. So here I'm just making the, my little one's bed, he's the one that loves Fortnite. very easily just throw the comforter on top and just kind of make it look like I did my job <laughs> so what I like to do guys after I do their beds I I'm not creating spoil brats they have shores they know they have to do their stuff so I put all their clothes that I find either it's clean or whatever I find it and I put it in the laundry basket and they know they have to separate it and fold it and whatever needs to be folded and put into their drawers, they do. I do not do it for them because they need to learn how to be um, clean and organized. Then I go into the closet and I remove all their toys that they have, guys. Like everything that they made a mess, you're going to see me come out with it. because They make a huge mess. So I put everything in the bed. They do have different clear containers that I've made for them where they have electronics, Fortnite toys, play-doh and i'm bringing all that out because most of the things that i found on the floor and under the bed go in these containers so what i do is i leave it here on top of the bed for them so they know they have to organize it when they get home from school so i'm not i'm not i'm i, I said it i'm i'm creating kids that are going when they get married they're going to help out their wives so so yeah guys that's pretty much what i do i just kind of go in here and leave stuff for them because it's not fair that i'm busting my butt all day and they come and they make a mess but yeah guys, that's pretty much all I do in my extreme thing with me's um uh just tackle each room that we are constantly using. So yeah, I really hope you liked the video guys. And if you did, please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to be part of my beautiful girlfriend squad here, um just make sure you hit subscribe guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!